check in with Larissa, who does kind things every single day, who is back from her big animal adoption event with Kathy Bissell. And you have an update for us, don't you, Larissa? Oh, it was amazing. And talking about being kind, especially to kids, there were some kids at this event that went home with the puppy or the adult dog of their dreams, and you just saw the smiles on their face. It was absolutely remarkable. We were up in San Francisco. We got to go to the Berkeley Humane Society, as well as Hayward Animal Shelter. We toured the facility. We talked to the director. We met with all the amazing little uh, people that live there and the dogs and kitties that live there. And we had a blast. That was Cassie. I made friends with all the animals, by the way. And we were there when people started flocking in to find their furry friend. And there were so many wonderful adoptions, wonderful stories, and just kids and families that have wanted an animal for so long and were waiting for that exact right moment. And they found it. And I can't wait because hopefully we'll be able to do some following up with them and find out how it's all going, but it was truly remarkable. And one of the shelters we were at, Berkeley Humane, they had 39 adoptions this weekend, the majority of them through Empty the Shelter, so it was really a wonderful success. And we're going to join right now, or visit, I should say, with Aaron and Carl the cat, who is still there looking for his home. So we are going to get Carl out of the shelter. Look at that big boy. Tell us about Carl, Aaron. So this is Carl. He's one of the animals that sadly didn't find his home this weekend. He came to us from an overcrowded shelter that was going through some construction projects to improve their facilities. And unfortunately, they didn't have as much space for their animals. So we took in a third of their animals so that they wouldn't have to euthanize anybody to make space during their construction project. And Carl is um, a cat that's about nine years old. And so he's a little bit older. Also, sometimes Sometimes black cats seem to get passed up really frequently um, for kittens or um, cats with flashier colors. And so we just wanted to feature Carl so that people could see what a great cat he is and how sweet he is. And also just that, you know, sometimes adopting an older cat, they're already so mellow and he's um, definitely would love to snuggle up on somebody's lap. I love it. And the first thing I actually said when I was there with Kathy Bissell was, you have a lot of black cats. You had five or six <laughs> adult black cats that were having a yeah. hard time being adopted. So anybody out there, if they have the room and they have the heart, please go pick up Carl and give him a wonderful life because he truly yeah. deserves it. And Aaron, thank you for joining up with Bissell Pet Foundation this past weekend. And it was so amazing to be there and to see you doing your thing and all the wonderful, wonderful success stories that came out of it. Thank you so much for being here, and hopefully I'll have a happy update about Carl very soon. I hope so. Anybody who's watching, please go to berkeleyhumane.org for more on Carl. Visit a shelter or rescue near you if you're not here locally or up in Berkeley. And please bring home an animal and give them an adoption ever after. And just like Albert Einstein said, the best way to get away from the miseries of life are to listen to music and get a cat. So there, go to berkeleyhumane.org. <laughs>